Hey everyone, Carlo here. Welcome to today's episode for the vlog. We're actually going to unbox something very special. So this is the first ever Nike sneaker that I customized on their website. So to those who don't know, you can actually customize your own shoe on Nike. Pick a silhouette, uh, be it an Air Force One, a KD-12, an Air Max, what a lot of sneakers already available for customization. You can choose the colors, choose certain elements, and even put your initials or some text or some words on the shoe and for today's episode i'm super excited to unbox this it took a little over two to three weeks to get this done and i'm just so excited to finally have my first custom sneaker by nike by you let's go Now, if you guys haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please make sure that you do so because we are going to announce a new giveaway on Monday. So make sure that you're subscribed, follow me on Instagram, like my Facebook page. And if you haven't seen the winner yet of our raffle for the Realme C3, I did upload it two videos ago. So just watch that one. At the end, I announced who the winner was. So guys, let's get right into it. It comes in your typical brown Nike box over here. And if you pop this box open, mala inception. Ah, that's an annoying sound. We have a box inside the box. And you have this white Nike box. And it says over here, Nike by you. It says over here again, Nike by you. Woohoo! Super excited for this one. So if we pop the box open, ba bam! Woo! Nice! So a few elements I want to highlight before we get to the sneaker. This is actually the tissue paper. And you have different text over here talks about the trademarks, the different design and brand assets of Nike, and it even has this really nice one out of one, which signifies that this is a custom specifically made by you, and it is for you. So it is a one of one sneaker. So let's get to the shoe. Ba-bam! This is the 7 to 1 Air Max 270 React. So if you take a look at the back, it actually says here at the tag, Seven, other tag says one. So to those who don't know, uh, Project 7 to 1 is our merch line here on the channel and it is one of my favorite principles in life. Very simply put, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. you build your career, 7 p.m. to 1 a.m. that's where you build your dreams. That's where you work on your app, that's where you work on your YouTube channel, that's where you get your hustle on. So that's what 7 to 1 means. Anyway, let's get to the shoe. So I picked specifically the Air Max 270 React. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure what this is called again. I think it's like the ENG model. It's kind of like the same model that Travis Scott will be releasing in a couple of days or weeks. Uh, I picked this model because I've never had one yet and I've always wanted to review this particular Air Max 270 React. I mean, I've reviewed the Air Max 270 React, but not this particular variant. So might as well go for a custom uh, specific to this particular silhouette. Now, moving into the shoe, I picked orange and black as the primary color. So those who don't know, those are my favorite colors. I just love the combination, the contrast between the bright vermilion purple and the deep dark black that you have on the shoe. Now, if you take a look at the waves along the sneaker, this is gradient, starts off as orange, slowly becomes some sort of like uh, sunrise yellow or sunrise tequila yellow <laughs> or whatever you want to call it. And then the orange laces you have over here. And if you move down, you have the black react midsole and then you have that gradient orange air unit air max 270 unit here at the back and then of course you have the rubber orange outsole uh, contrasting with the black react uh, midsole over here so how is the sneaker on feet now i've already done a review of the air max 270 react in fact i did too the first review i did wasn't so nice in fact i was kind of bashing it uh, for not being as comfortable and the flow between the air unit to the React not as seamless as I wanted it to be. Uh, however, however, I did do a follow-up review a couple of months later wherein I felt that maybe I just bought the wrong size. I went through to size. So I, what I did was I got like a size up mainly because I have wide feet and it turned out to be a really good decision because the sneaker became so much more comfortable. Comfort-wise, it's still as good. The React plus the Air Unit works amazingly well, delivers excellent cushioning, and if this is the type of everyday sneaker that you just want to beat up if you just want to be comfortable the entire day. Let's say you want to go out, 
well, once the ECQ is lifted or you just want to hang out with friends once the ECQ is lifted. Uh, as long as you can get out of the house. Get you neon, okay? Uh, this is one of those sneakers that you would probably go for. Uh, the 270 React, again, in the Air unit complements each other very well. However, what is the disadvantage of the Air Max 270 uh, React ENG or whatever, again, this model is called, versus the original Air Max 270 React is the breathability. The upper part of this sneaker doesn't have too much give. I mean, not give. Does it have too much, uh, I don't know, perforations? So it can get a little bit warm compared to your Air Max 270 React. That was just my experience after wearing it indoors. <laughs> For a couple of days now. So that's the overall vi uh, feel that I got with the shoe. However, in terms of design, obviously, since I was the person who designed it, uh, it is subjective. Not everybody will like the loud colors. Not everybody will like the orange and black. But that's the beautiful thing about customs. You get to express yourself and you get to make what you think is nice and wear that thing that you love. At the same time, you also become unique because not a lot of people or yeah, it is a one-on-one. -on -one. I mean, you can't see a lot of people wearing stuff like this, especially with the tag at the back. So I think that's the beautiful, beautiful thing about wearing uh, customs and using the Nike by You platform uh, on the Nike website. And that's actually what I would recommend all of you to do. Instead of just buying hype sneakers, instead of just buying uh, sneakers designed by others, why don't you take a crack at it? Why don't you design your own shoe? Uh, pick a silhouette, maybe an Air Force One, maybe an Air Max 90, maybe an Air Max 2090. A lot of the newer models are already available. Maybe the Infinity React, maybe the React Flyknit 3, a Vapor Max perhaps, a basketball shoe. Guys, just play around with it, see, tinker around with the tools, see what colors appeal to you, see what kind of text you would want written on the back or on the side. It's just an overall fun experience and I highly, highly recommend it. Now, granted, it is slightly more expensive. Uh, this one, I ended up paying a little over 10,000 pesos or $200 to get. But personally, I feel that it is worth it because again, it is unique. And number two, I designed it. And number three, uh, man, it, it just feels so much better to wear sneakers that you thought of versus wearing sneakers that other people designed for you, if, if you guys get what I mean. I want to hear from you guys on your thoughts about custom sneakers, specifically customizing Nike shoes based on the Nike by You platform on the website. Let me know what you guys think of customs in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear from you guys. So comment na. Now before we end the vlog, I just wanna give a quick shout out to It's Soul Good. So to those who don't know, It's Soul Good does comics related to sneakers. They have a fantastic Facebook page. They should You should, should definitely like their page. And uh, he sent over this face mask. Uh, that was inspired by the Yeezy 700 Wave Runner. So I just want to open it and unbox it for you guys in today's episode before we end the vlog. So it comes with, uh, well, stickers. And you can see how he plays with a lot of the icons that we're used to. The Supreme logo, the Soul Good logo over here. Of course, you have the Wave Runner, Kanye, where he's like literally riding the Wave Runner. Uh, like a jet ski and then we get to the actual face mask so as you guys can see it is inspired heavily by the easy 700 wave runner from the colors to the design uh, to the overall print i mean it is just easy 700 all throughout so this is what it looks like if you guys want to order hit him up on instagram or facebook i think he already sold out but maybe you can still make it for the next patch. So thank you. It's so good for the care package. And I also want to share with you guys another face mask that I got. So this is a custom by Banal. And they are a face mask brand and they do fantastic face masks. And this is something that they made specifically for me. So shout out to Hands of Urban Traveler for hooking me up with this one. So it has shoelaces on the side. So they actually designed this for me. You have that orange pop of color on the side and you have my name over here. Though it did, they did put like an extra S, Carlos. But, <laughs> but still, so this is actually my favorite face mask because hey, it has my name. So it's personal, that's the theme. Make something or design something that's uniquely yours. So 
Thank you, Banal and Urban Traveler. Can't wait to shop at your store again once malls open. So with that said, that ends our vlog for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please make sure that you hit that subscribe button. Follow me on Instagram, like our Facebook page. I'll be seeing you guys there so we can interact more in that particular community. What do you guys think of the sneaker? What do you guys think of customization work? Let me know in the comment section down below. Peace, God bless, what's up? Boom.